This is how to customize Control Center on the iOS 17. Starting off, what is Control Center? Well, it is this. So here you can access brightness levels, volume levels. So how do you access this mythical control center that I've never seen or heard of before? Well, if you have an iPhone without a home button or with a notch or dynamic island or whatever, all you have to do is go to the top right corner of the screen with the battery, the Wi-Fi, and the cellular stuff, and you just swipe down from there. And then you get to control center. There you go. Don't swipe down from the center or the other side because that's just notification center. So if you could just swipe. So you have, to, you have to swipe down a lot further for notification center. But there you go. You got the notifications on that side and in the middle as well. So then on this side is control center. But what about iPhones with the home button? Now, if you still have one, congratulations. That's all you have to do with the home button iPhone is just swipe up from the bottom. It doesn't matter where you swipe up doesn't matter if it's on the left or the right, the middle. You could do it kind of quickly too. You can just be like that and get to it. You don't have to like swipe all the way up. Now, how do you exit control center? Well, it's just super easy. All you have to do is tap where there isn't a button. Like right down here, I have empty space. So I could just tap that. Sometimes it doesn't register because it thinks that you mistapped it. But uh, if you just tap outside of it, then it does work. Or you can just swipe up again on from there, or you could just swipe up from wherever as long as it's not on the control and stuff so you swipe up from the bottom home button iPhone you just swipe down and you get to it you can tap outside of it too so you can tap on something that there's nothing to tap on and it gets out of it or of course you can just push the home button and then you get out of it it's super easy now that you know how to access and get out of control center how do you customize control center like I got these buttons here but they don't look like what you have like I want some of those buttons I want those buttons on there don't worry I'm gonna tell you how to do that so all you have to do is go to settings which where's settings oh my gosh I have all these pages don't know where settings is I haven't seen in a million years. I have never looked at settings ever. I don't even know what, what is that? What is settings? You don't have to worry about what settings is. All you have to do is find settings. So, I mean, it's super easy to find. All you have to do is swipe down from the middle of your home page. You just swipe down. All you have to do is tap on settings. If it's not there, then you can type search in settings. So you just type in settings. I'm not gonna do that on screen because it's way too difficult. Anyway, you type in set. And as you can see, it sort of fills in what it thinks that I'm going to type. And then it shows settings. Of course, it'll probably, it might show other things for you. But as long as you tap on this one, settings, and then it brings you to settings. Once you're on settings, the main page, and if you're not on the main page, let's just say you're on notifications, all you have to do is swipe over to the left maybe a few times or tap this button right here. It should show like a little button of what to go back to. And then just keep going until you find this page right here and then all you have to do to find control center as you can see it's kind of down here but then if you can't see it because your text is big or something you just swipe down your control center and there it is and if you're and if you're like way down here for some reason then for like with all the apps then you just swipe all the way up to the, the top and then swipe down a little bit until you see general and then control center is right there. Got a bunch of controls. You can see what's already on control center. So if you go to control center, you can see, you know, low power mode, which is this one. You can see that's on there. And then as you can see right there, low power mode. So this is sort of the order that they're going to be placed in. And then these little red circles with lines in them, that's just so you can just tap and then you can remove it. And so now if you want to add more, you want to add something different because you don't want you want something else. Let's say you want text size. So if you like to change the size of your text, then you can do so just with the control. So you can tap on that. Got to kind of precisely tap it. And then there it is, text size. And then if you go to control center, you can see text size shows up right there, that little icon right there. And then you can change the text size just by tapping on it. So you can see and just tap on it. So you can tap outside of it, like sort of outside the control sections or whatever, tap outside, tap on nothing basically to get out of it. Not every control has that. So if you just tap on this, it's not gonna do anything else different. This is light and dark mode, by the way. You can have this toggle on here. Super awesome to have. Some of these are a little bit different. For example, timers, if you tap on it, it brings you to the timer, but if you long press on it, 
or 3D touch on it, which is just, you know, pushing a little bit harder. So basically just do that. Or if you're long press, you just kind of rest your finger on there and then it pulls it up. And now you can see, you can set a timer for a different amount of times. So let's say we set it for one minute for some reason, and then we can start it and it shows right there. And if we tap out of it, it shows that the timer is active by lighting it up. And then we can go to flashlight if we want to. You just tap on it to turn it on or off. As you can see, turn it on or off. Or you can long press on it to get brighter, darker, brighter, darker. See, brighter, darker, super easy to adjust. You can also add home controls. So if you have a home pod and some smart switches and stuff or smart plugs, you can just turn that on. So now as you can see, there's all the toggles for all the smart switches and stuff like that. So you can turn them on or off. So you can just touch them, turn them on or off, or you can just 3D touch or haptic touch and turn them on or off like that. And so you can have a lot of controls on here and you could just add a whole bunch of stuff. Now these preset ones, these ones you cannot remove. Uh, you can 3D touch on this one and you can 3D touch on this one as well, like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth to access all Bluetooth controls and stuff like that. So you don't just tap on it because if you just tap on it and it just turns it off and turns it back on if I can find the button. There we go. Uh, if you turn it off from here, it does the same thing. And then with music, you can 3D touch or haptic touch, just long press or whatever. Just the long press. Just do a long press. Not really long, like don't just like and just leave it there because that's it, you are you're already done. You done. You're you're done. Just long enough for it to bring it up. Now, if you're having any troubles with accessing Control Center within apps, then you just have to make sure that this toggle is on access within apps. Just make sure that's on. And there's also a whole bunch of other things. Very useful controls. I would say that these are very useful which is Shazam, you know, you can tap on it to have it listen for music or 3D touch on it to get all of your uh, things that you've listened for and we're like, what, what song is this? And then you just tap on that and then it might recognize the song as long as there's no talking really loudly into the microphone as it's trying to figure out what song you're listening to because then it won't do anything. And there's also a remote, so if you tap on that, you get a remote for your TVs. So if you have Apple TVs, you can easily control your TV with this. And also, this is also very, very useful to find your remote. So if you can see, there's the TV remote find, and you can find it nearby, and it kind of just finds it nearby. It's not as accurate as an AirTag, but uh, it's pretty good. You can also move these around, so you can tap and hold on the little three lines right here not on the there we go and then you just move them around so that moved low battery to right there so you can tap on that right there so you can move it around or you can move it back up around there so it kind of just moves it see it's moved right there so you just kind of play around with it to see what you like thanks for watching this video make sure you subscribe for more information on how to do things also i'll be doing an ios 18 version of this so stay tuned for that. Should be coming out pretty soon. Hopefully it's not another six months until my next video like it was before.